Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what concat versus concat WS function in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, in my last video, I discussed about concatenate columns by using concat function or without using concat function. So, please watch my last video. So, there I discussed about two. So, let's see concat versus concat WS. So, add here. First, I am going to write to select a statement. Here after, let's write to concat. So, if you write at your concat. So, about the concat. So, it's a built-in function, concat. And here, expression, expression. That means, at here, that accept columns. So, in columns like your enter name, employee ID, first name, last name, email. And about the concat underscore WS. So it's also a built-in function, but it has the three at least it has three parameter. The first is separator. In separator, you can give a space, comma, column, a star, whatever you like, and your expression. That means you have to enter at your column here. So expression uh, at your triple dot. That means you can enter many columns, and here that return vector one. So let's first check about concat function. So right here, I'm going to write hi. Hi. Here after guys. And after let's give or uh, as giving or uh, column alias name. So if you execute this query, so see right here, hi guys, it's a uh, displaying. Now let's copy that one and paste it down. So in place of cat, cat, I'm going to include table as. So at here, I'm getting the error message. So at here, concat underscore table as required at least three parameter. So three parameter, it is essential. And here, the first parameter accept or here separator. So first I'm going to give the separator at here a space. Now error out. So if you execute that one. So see at here. Hi guys. It's a display. Since I have given the place at here a space. So that here it's a hi hereafter a space guys. So in a uh, place of for separator you can give anything like uh, if you want then you can give at the rate. So here, let's execute. So see at here, hi at the rate, guys. Now here you can give at here multiple uh, strings. Hi, here after I'm going to enter hi guys. How here after all and here after you. Now let's execute that. So see at here, hi at the rate guys at the rate. So hi here after or whenever that found any new string. So in place of or after that that to include at the at the rate. So if at the rate is not to be good, so let's give at here a space. So at here between the all strings there is a space. The main benefit of concat underscore ws. So one time at here you give the space so that applied for all a string here. So like that you can use the concat ws on table also. So at here let's check the table first. So I'm going to select the table hr dot employees. Now here after let's execute that. So this the records and column inside here. So at your select. So let's copy that. So select concat. Here after I'm going to use first name. First name column. First name and 
लॉस्ट अंडरस्कोर नेम एंड इन आफ्टर लेट्स गिव तो टेबल नेम एच आर डॉट एम्प्लाइज सो इफ यू एक्सक्यूट दैट वन सो सी एट हेल्प फर्स्ट टाइम एंड लास्ट टाइम इट्स अ वैल्यू कंबाइंड बट दे आर नो एनी स्पेस सो इफ यू वांट टू गिव द स्पेस so at uh, this point you have to include so single quote here after space single quote here after comma now if you execute that so see at here the uh, first time and last time there is one space now let's use this term in place of concat use concat under underscore table as so ws stand for with separate now if you execute that so there is so uh, here uh, so first that are checking at here at this first uh, parameter so that are checking a uh, separator so that to found at your first name and here after next is a uh, space and here the last name so in place of uh, at here this place that are including first name so at here let's uh, use that uh, correct format so concat underscore ws the first parameter is at here separator so let's give a space here after column so at here i'm going to include first name now if you execute here so see at here first name and last name it's all uh, there and there is the one is uh, a space between first name and last name so like that you can include at your email so if you include the email so see at your first name last name and your asking is the email value so if you want to check so let's give at your a star so this will select all the columns so at your email asking and your first name last name and your asking is the value of email So if you wanna use the at your email, so let's enter your email. Now execute that. So see at your first time, last time, and your asking is the email value. So see at your uh, when you give at your the space, then there is the space between first time, last time. But here there is no any space between last time and email. So see at your. So this the uh, things concat to. means if you are going to add, uh, uh, use concat function so you for every column if you want to separate so you have to give some values like a space at the right photo so with concat func uh, function concat un underscore ws function so if you give at a space so this will apply it for all the columns so at your or oh, there is there will be a space between first name last name last name email so what are the columns here so this is the things so that here the new function is uh, implemented the name is concat underscore tables so this is the things about concat and concat underscore tables in microsoft sql server so let's uh, check uh, other example also so one more thing when i'm going to concat Or some value with null. So let's see what happened. So at here there is a space here after first time, and in place of last time, I'm going to include manager id. Comma here after let's enter manager id. So manager id is the numerical value, and there is a one or two has a null value. So when I'm going to combine with Steven with King. So let's see what happened by using concat ws. So see at here, Steven combined with at here null. The value is now Steven only. And here, when or uh, Nina combined with hundred, so the value is Nina hundred. So let's use concat and here combined with manager id. Manager ID. Now let's execute that. So I have the same output. 
it's coming so when st1 combined with null so it's only returning st1 so see right here st1 is combined trying to combine with null so it's returning st1 and nina combined with 100 so it's returning nina 100 so that means at here so a uh, manager id has the numerical values and a uh, first term has the string value so let's check that one manager id so numeric and your first name is a vector. So by using concat function, so you can combine any columns, no matter there is a vector type or right here, numeric types. So like this, the same thing with concat wsd. So at your first name is vector, and your manager ID is the no numeric. So no any matter whatever the column that are getting, so there is they have to combine. So there is one job to do. So combine. So this is the things related to concat underscore concat WS function in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for listening. See you next video. Thank you.